being awesome is keeping the fans happy. Now, what do my fans like most? Pranks. What Mr. Galvin doesn't know is that I slipped a burrito in his pocket and hit Chad in the cabinet dressed as a rat. Chad will do anything for a burrito, so when he smells it on Galvin, <laughs> let's watch. Try something really tough, you should do atomic sit ups. Lie back, close your eyes, then try to do a sit up. You'll see, it's stupid hard. <laughs> Always remember if you dish it out, you gotta be willing to take it. <laughs> Game respects game. Hmm? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Nate! I think it's an improvement. Ah! Hey, Ellen, reading your diary in here. Hey, you shouldn't worry so much about your nose. It's your personality that's the problem. Nate! <laughs> <laughs> That's my date! No one go near that door! Huh? You must be Logan. Ellen was right. You have the perfect amount of skin. <laughs> 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 Wait! Logan! Huh? I guess he wasn't that into you. problem is that he's got horrible timing. Okay, Chip, on the count of three, say cheese. One. Cheese! <laughs> <sighs> Poor kid. Huh? Ah, water, water, water. I love water. <sighs> ah, refreshing. And my buddy Francis, too much parental intervention. Uh. Uh, and don't get me started on my girl Dee Dee. Hey, Nate, wait up! Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <gasps> I'm in. Time to fix some photos. Okay, here we go. Password, uh, Mr. Rosa, no. Yearbook, uh, no. What's the password? Come on, Nate. Your friends are depending on you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess the password, loser. All right, Gina's head of yearbook. Nate Wright is a loser. <gasps> and now... Magic happens. Are you sure you want to replace all 368 photos? Oh, yes. Just 
look at that winning smile. This will make a great headshot. Huh. I don't remember owning a monster truck. Who's responsible for this? The legendary Nate Wright. Oh, you little so-and-so, I'll catch you. Look, getting gunted isn't a problem because I only have two detentions, including... Uh, think again. Detention one. Who'd like to feed Sheila? I got this, Mr. G. Ah, claws are like a hundred scissors! Ah. Detention two. Need some help, Mr. Rosa? Thanks, Nate, but only teachers are legally authorized to touch school equipment. <laughs> right. Like that's a real law. <laughs> Detention three. These are my teacher, Mrs. Godfrey's fake teeth. I mean, each one is a special memory of how I pranked her. My food. <laughs> Don't do it, Nate. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, hey, kids, don't worry. That green gas is non toxic and humanely sourced from organic gas farms. Today is the day we're announcing the winner of the Valentine's Day art contest. Whoever it is will win a pizza party fit for a king. Oh, a pizza party? Well, that sounds just grand. Oh, here comes my set. That does sound grand. Like a very grand gesture indeed. Nate, you didn't enter the contest. The rules of your world do not concern me. Uh, Mr. Rosa, are you selecting the winner? Oh, no. Too hard. You know me. I'm a lover. No hurt feelings with Mr. Rosa. I asked Coach John to decide. Confiscated, confiscated, confiscated. This is a good haul. I better get this to my office. <laughs> I gotta act quick. Psst, amateur hour. Make way for a professional. Why does the law require gym teachers to carry so many caves? <laughs> Chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Papers represents a year's worth of homework I've gotten out of doing. My neighbor's dog ate my homework. It's from the veterinarian. A samurai sliced it into a million tiny pieces. It's from the samurai. There was an explosion at the plant. Half the city was wiped out. Don't believe me? Ask the mayor. All right, if you think I've accomplished nothing today, just you wait. I still haven't told you the best thing about locker makeover day. Rigging your locker for the unsuspecting victim. Oh, hi, Randy. Huh? Don't say hi to me, freak. <laughs> okay, bye, Randy. I'm gonna get you, Nate! All these thought bubbles are giving me a bright idea. Time to turn Ellen's teenage turmoil 
into cold, hard cash. I couldn't believe it either. I mean, we both know there's someone else, right? I wish somebody was out there. Somebody okay, so we open with a princess, so sad and alone and really bad at singing, like animals die when she sings. Uh, 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 then some prince dumps her, so she's acting all lame and crying and stuff, but then she meets a headless farmhand. Oh, yeah. Uh, they get married and have lots of weird babies, and everything's great. But then, Headless Guy totally runs off with her best maiden, leaving the princess alone again, but now with two babies to care for. And finished. Bells a ringing. A tale of love, loss, and headless lust. Step it up it and receive the promise of the pimple. I tried to cut my own hair, and this is what happened. I will never get a girlfriend. Well, that's for the pimple to decide. <gasps> <laughs> oh, uh, hey, trendsetter. Hot haircut. Wanna cut my hair later? Nate, my leg is busted and championship game is next week! Ah, yes. The great pimple has heard you. By the power of the pimple, I shall become the ultimate soccer player! Hey Heads up! <laughs> Nate, here's the bottom line. I got a tip on some monkey-powered windmills. And well... <laughs> I'm broke. I just need one big score to get me back on my feet. Let me touch your pimple. And I promise you'll never have to go to detention for the rest of your life. Here's the deal. We spy on everyone we know, borrow their life stories, use our imaginations to make them sound actually interesting. I draw up the art, bada bing, bada boom, five more graphic novels. I mean, it's so complicated, it might just work. Dee Dee, stick to nickels. On it! I know, mother, but speed dating just isn't what it used to be. Huh? My love handles. Do not make this about my diet, mother. Francis, you handle Godfrey. Location, reckless. Hobbies, cats. Six things I can't live without. Well, I have seven cats, so I'm gonna skip this one. Wouldn't be fair to Jermaine Dupur. Mm. Teddy, you've got Uncle Pedro. <laughs> hey, Uncle Pedro, do you have any fun stories from middle school? And Chad, you have the most dangerous job of all. Uh, Chad? <laughs> what is he up to now? I'm on, I'm on, uh, come on, Chad! You can do it! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, come with me, Chad. I have an even better dinner plan in store for us. We weren't supposed to leave camp. It feels like we're leaving camp. I wish I had my tracking collar. Would you pull it together, Chad? Everything's gonna be fine. Know why? Because I've got meat in my pants. Oh, is that the style these days? Keeping up with fashion is so hard. Which did you focus, Chad? You and I are gonna use my meat pants to bag us a beast. And then s'mores. Wait, won't this make the big beast come to me? Exactly. And when he tries to attack you, I'll go at him from behind. <laughs> He'll never see me coming. Genius. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about this plan. Oh, come on, Chad. Have any of my wild and impulsive schemes ever put you in danger before? <laughs> nope. In fact, I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. But great! So, no matter what happens, just remember, it's all part of the plan. Trust the plan. Got it? Got it. Chad, so turn around. Okay. It's possible my plan may need work. <laughs> Narcolepsy is always so rough. Oh, should I do something? I feel like I should do something. No, Chad, no. Nate said, trust the plan. Ah!